Okay, it's now um, two weeks post-surgery for my ACDF surgery. I uh, had my uh, two-week follow-up doctor appointment today. Um, without, with just looking at me and doing the push-pull testing on my arms, uh, my doctor said everything looks good. Um, he looked at the incision. Uh, there's still glue there. He says I should start kind of cleaning that better to get the glue off. Um, you know, I'm still getting a few, uh, pains, uh, some nerve pain in my, in my, my arm here, a little bit here every once in a while on both arms. So I'm getting some weird little pains, but he says that's all part of the process. It's going to take a few weeks. Says that there's still blood, uh, in the surgery area that's kind of drying up and being absorbed and all that. And, you know, when the nerves get free of that blood, they, they start to heal. So it's a process. Um, the one thing that really disappointed me was uh, my doctor wants me to continue to wear this neck brace for four more weeks for a total of six weeks. And let me tell you, this is probably the worst part of it is wearing this thing. But says I can drive, but says don't drive a lot because if you drive, you can't wear the brace and I want you to wear the brace. So between that and uh, the uh, cervical stimulator, uh, the um, otherwise known as the bone growth stimulator, um, doing that four hours a day, wearing this most of the day, um, it's a drag. But, uh, you know, if, if it, you know, everything works out the way that we're all expecting it to, then it will have been worth the discomfort. That being said, I guess I've never showed my incision, which still looks pretty gnarly. Um, hard to see here. Um, I think it's about, they did it, they did it at an angle, which they say helps them get, uh, get in there better and, and have, uh, you know, better results than when they go horizontal in the crease. Um, so, yeah, like I said, still, it was glued, glued externally. It's, you know, I guess sutures internally that, that dissolve. Um, I haven't had any pain um, in the incision area. That being said, I do have a lot of numbness. I have, I'm all numb all in here, um, which makes uh, shaving uh, quite a challenge. Uh, it's pretty tough to shave yourself when you don't feel the razor blade, so it's hard to tell what you're doing. Um, so, uh, but my doctor assures me that that will resolve itself. Um, I'm not so sure. I've, I've had a few surgeries where I had numbness on the incision site that never went away because they cut nerves. Um, so I, I don't know where that one's going. Um, anyway, so like I said, two weeks, um, so far so good. I go back in four more weeks, get, uh, getting x-rays beforehand that, uh, will be available on my, to my doctor the day of my six week follow-up, um, at which point, um, hopefully they can say that, um, the fusion is taking, um, in all three vertebrae that are being fused together are good. You know, I guess it's sort of like, you know, breaking an arm or a leg, you wear a cast for six weeks. So I get to wear this thing for six weeks, even though they say I can take it off to sleep, take it off to drive. Although I did drive for the first time today and that's pretty challenging too, because I tried really hard not to turn my head. So when you got to turn your whole body to look to see cars coming, um, it's not easy, especially when you're trying to change lanes. So, <clears throat> As much as I like to drive, I'm going to be keeping my driving to a minimum um, for the duration. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back sometime soon with a follow-up.